Morning family, First Love Church, Daily Devos today. Uh, we are in Revelation chapter 1, starting eh, in and around, uh, let's say verse 12. Might go back to verse 9 a little bit. But um, <clears throat> what we find here is that uh, John has been addressed by Jesus to take dictation. And when he's called out by Jesus, he turns. It says, then I turned to see the voice that spoke with me. And having turned, I saw seven golden lampstands. And in the midst of the seven lampstands, one like the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to his feet, and girded about with the chest, girded about the chest with a golden band. His head and hair were white, like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes like a flame of fire. His feet were like fine brass, as if refined in a furnace, and his voice was as the sound of many waters. He had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was like the sun shining in its strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as if dead, but he laid his right hand on me, that must have been something, <laughs> saying to me, do not be afraid, I am the first and the last. I am he who lives and he who was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of Hades and of death. Write these things, the things which you have seen, and the things which are, and the things which will take place after this. The mystery of the seven stars which you saw in my right hand and the seven golden lampstand. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands which you saw are the seven churches. So going back over this, first of all, to describe uh, oh, the raiment that Jesus was wearing, that long robe pictures Jesus, and I'm, I'm reading this from the Life Application Commentary. The long robe pictures Jesus as a leader. The gold sash across his chest reveals him as the high priest who goes into God's presence to obtain forgiveness of sin for those who have believed in him. In the first century, wearing a, a, ra, a sash, especially across the chest, indicated leadership and authority. Hebrews 2.17 identifies Jesus as the final high priest. His glowing white hair indicates his wisdom and divine nature. You can look in Daniel chapter 7 for that. His blazing eyes symbolize judgment of all evil, Daniel 10.6 and deep insight not only over the churches and the believers, but over the entire course of history. And it goes on and says in, in verse 15, his feet were like bronze glowing in a furnace, and his voice was like the sound of brushing waters. The feet like bronze picture an exalted person, and, and bronze always represents judgment in, in the Bible with great power. Bronze usually symbolizes the might of Rome because bronze shields the breastplates that were used by the Roman army. In addition, the altar of, burning, of a burnt offering was covered with bronze. Again, this is a picture of an all-powerful victor. The description of glowing metal used to describe the Son of Man is also found in Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 13. The voice of rushing waters evokes the image of a huge waterfall roaring over a high cliff, thus the voice is powerful and awesome. When this man speaks with authority, Nothing else can be heard. I, I remember in Hawaii standing at the bottom of a waterfall, a big waterfall, uh, the Wailua waterfall on, on uh, west of the east side of Kauai, and um, you couldn't hear each other speaking because it was so loud, and so that's what that's indicating here. Um, you know, we're going to be looking into this uh, more tomorrow, but I think that it was important for me to read this from a, a note, noted commentary to describe, you know, what, what, what John is, is seeing and what John is experiencing here. But I really especially like the waterfall analogy because the thunderous drowning out all other sounds, because it's important as people that he's the only thing that we hear and things to do with him, things about him, things concerning him, conversations that edify him and glorify him are really, are really the only things. We shouldn't really hear anything else. We shouldn't really hear from the world. We really shouldn't hear from social media. We really shouldn't hear from, well, 
all the crud that's out there trying to rub off onto our character, trying to infiltrate our personalities, trying to influence our mindset. No, we need to hear just the waterfall, just the waterfall. Of course, we need to listen to our wives. Of course, we need to listen to, uh, you know, in our families. But really, the focal point and everything that we hear should be filtered through that waterfall of Jesus' voice. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, we love you and we thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I will see you guys tomorrow, and God bless. Love you. I was a dead man walking until you left this dead man walking back to life. This is First Love Church. Welcome home.